Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sketching and painting on this beautiful island called Perhentian on the east coast of Malaysia. So over a long weekend, we decided to visit this beautiful island and the resort that we stayed at was really beautiful. The water was crystal clear and there were a lot of really beautiful picturesque spots that I could sketch and it took me some time to choose this spot and I thought it would be good because I could sit under the shade on this platform that no one was using at the time and uh, there was also a table there to put my stand for recording so yeah that's why I chose this spot I don't often do planner sketches because sketching under the hot sun is not something that is easy for me to do. I usually prefer to just sketch at home because it's just more comfortable to me and it's much much easier for me to concentrate as well. And um, for this session, for this sketching session, I actually found it quite hard to find a good angle for recording. So um, maybe this first angle here is a little bit awkward and you can't really see my sketch. But I wanted to include both the beach and the sketch in one frame. And um, you see here that I'm using a um, Lamy Safari fountain pen and it's in, uh, it has a medium nib and I'm using Noodler's um, water resistant ink. I will link everything in the description as usual so you can find it if you want. And for this video I'll only be using this one pen and one brush. So um, it's very hard for me to bring lots of things um, outside for sketching especially if I'm not like bringing a whole table because there's just no no place to place everything and uh, I also need like in in my usual practice I need a lot of brushes at one at one go and I just wanted to simplify this process and just do everything in a really simple way so I just made it all really minimalistic. I'm just using one brush and one pen today. So initially I planned to do a small one page sketch on this left side but after I finished sketching this page I felt that it could be better as a wider panoramic sketch incorporating both the beach and also the beach side chalets so that's why I sketched the left side and then progress to the right side.
So the weather was really hot in the afternoon, and I went for a swim in the morning.、Um, but it was really very hot and、um, just not very suitable for going swimming in the in the afternoon because it, the sun was really really strong, very like scorching hot. So. We couldn't snorkel the whole day, and there was no Wi-Fi or TV inside the room. So definitely, we had to find something else to do. And luckily enough, I brought all my sketching equipments. Well,、uh, my basic sketching equipments, and I、um, just sketched that afternoon. And it was still really very hot, and there were like mosquitoes, there were ants, and it wasn't it wasn't easy to do the sketch for me.、Um, and maybe you you have already noticed, but for the sketch, I was like completely not thinking at all. I was just going. With the flow and and just adding in things and adding in things and not even I didn't even really have a plan for what I was going to do. I just I just went straight in. I didn't even do any pencil sketch, and I just just went crazy with my pen. And I think it had in the end I had a lot of details added in.、Um, And everything was a quite wonky, but I quite like the result of this sketch、um, because I, I very seldom do such a wide, long sketch. So I find that really、uh, quite interesting. But even with the hot weather and the bugs, I still found the sounds of the ocean, the sound of the waves crashing on the shore, and the breeze and the trees really relaxing. And I actually really enjoyed the session, even though there were some things that I, that were out of my control. And I really sketched without thinking. So next, I'm going to be applying the watercolor wash with this、um, Skechers pocket box and this water brush from Pentel. I also used a tissue to absorb the excess water from the brush. This pocket box of watercolors is actually、um, from Winsor and Newton, and it only has twelve colors in it. But I think it's more than enough for something like this. I actually used only a few of the colors. So now I'm painting the ocean with a mixture of cerulean blue hue and burnt umber. Next, I'm painting the mountains on the island that is opposite us, with a color、um, that is a mixture of sap green and ultramarine. So I chose to use a more bluish green tone. Now I'm painting a bit of the coconut trees、um, with. A mixture of sap green and yellow ochre.
Since I'm using only one brush, I tend to use up all the paint that I have already mixed for as many areas as possible. And I don't change colors until I'm done with that color. Like now I'm getting all the greens done first. So now that I'm ready to change a color, I'm going to clean off that green paint by squeezing out water from the brush and sort of rinsing the brush without having to go to the tap and clean it or having a cup of water at the side. So now I'm using a mixture of yellow ochre and burnt umber to paint all the brown areas. I'm trying to get the left side a little bit more yellow because um, the sun is coming from the left, more towards the left side. So now I'm adding a darker brown on the right side to give more shadows to the tree trunks. So now I'm changing colors and this is a bluish gray tone that I mixed using ultramarine plus burnt umber and a little bit of burnt sienna and it's mostly ultramarine and it is mostly bluish in color and you can see now I'm adding a little bit more burnt umber and then um, later on, I add a little bit of ultramarine. So that gives that those um, those stones, those rocks, some um, variation, some um, shadows, uh, different tones and values. That makes it a little bit more interesting and not just um, flat. Actually, if I was um, even more short on time, I could have done like a flat wash, like a, a very simple watercolor wash over my ink lines because um, I actually spent a lot of time on the ink lines and 
the structure is already there. So just adding a little bit of color to the sketch would have been fine as well if um, I had uh, less time. So now I'm painting the sand with uh, yellow ochre and you may notice that there are a lot of sounds of kids now because uh, at this point in time there were um, so many more people because the weather was getting uh, less hot. It was much more pleasant and everyone was coming out to swim and I was a little bit um, I, was, I was a little bit rushed at this point. I was, I was feeling like I was missing out. I was, I felt like going uh, swimming already. So I was just quite, I, I was quite rushed at this point. I was just trying to just finish it, and not to be too um, accurate. Not try to put too many details in this sketch. Here I'm adding a little bit of red for the boats and some of the buildings and the distance. I'm adding a little bit of red also to some of these um, areas in the foreground and also in the plants. And it's done. If you found this video helpful to you, do remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much to everyone who has been so supportive of this channel so far. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.